Hello, hello, welcome to Silver Talks. In this episode, I will show you how to protect your silver from getting black. So, if you want to know how to preserve your silver stock in good condition for a long time, please stay tuned and we will start in a moment. Alright, so today a little bit different tips and tricks video in our Silver talk series. You may know that if you buy a silver coin, billion coin, whatever coin you have, at the beginning they are very shiny, cool and lovely. But during the time they could get and become black, oxidized, whatever you call this process. Basically silver becomes black because of the hydrogen sulfide. It's a chemical substantiation which is in the air. So when the air becomes the contact with the silver, uh, this reaction takes place and you can observe that your very shiny and light silver becomes a little bit darker and, you know, more flat in the colors, less shiny. So uh, silver oxidizes faster in place with a lot of light and high humidity. So how to protect it? Well, you could use a simple tool which you probably have in your home or if you not, you can buy it for a couple of bags. This is a food vacuum sealer, which basically allows you to pack food and preserve them for a long time. But the same tool could be used to protect your silver. And today I will show you how to do this. All right. So basically, as you can see, I got some examples of my silver stacks. You can uh, pack these uh, coins one by one in this plastics uh, caps, capsules, you can pack whole tubes like in this, or if you want to individually pack your coins, you can do it in such a way. And I will show you how to do this by example. So I got new, my new buy, which is nine, uh, 2022 Britannia, please refer the link to the description in my series when I'm reviewing those coin. Um, so basically today we will be packing it. And to pack it in a whole tube, I put some uh, kind of, you know, um, plastic, whatever uh, place, you know, because I don't want to coins move inside the box. And I will close this box, but not 100%. I will leave some space because I want to suck out the air from inside. So I will remain this, you know, a small gap in here. And then I will use the sleeve. Of course, you can buy a bigger bag, smaller bags. For example, I can make a bag because you can, uh, you know, hit the edge. So we will hit the edge on here to make a smaller bag for packing one. So we wait until, you know, we make a bag instead of sleeve okay we wait until it you know disappear of course there's a lot of other models on the market you could an use any food sealer to do this and you of course don't need to buy a specific model like this one as you can see it's not good enough i need to re repeat the process maybe from this side because it must be clicked and locked on the both sides. And now we wait. Okay, so now, as you can see, we get nice bag. So now, with this little gap, I will put this in a bag. Of course, you can pack it double, whatever you want. This is only for demonstration purposes. So I will put it in this way. You need a lot of space in here because the nice and flat surface must be, be seen in here when we are now putting this into vacuum sealer. So in this area, because we're going to suck out the air. And now we close the hatch, click, click. And this pulse method allows me to remove an air. And it's good because now it's open, 
but I'm still pulsing and sucking this air out. And now I will close the hatch by squeezing it here and now turn the automatic mode. And we are waiting for sealing. So uh, in a moment I will repeat all the process, but I am showing you it to, to you know, look. And please take a look. There was a gap because I, I wanted to remove all the air which was inside the tube. If we seal the tube and put it the back and suck out the air, there will be still air inside. And thanks to this method, so leaving this, you know, open for a moment and using this pulse method to remove the air, 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 and then at the end close it and seal, we get very nice packed piece of uh, silver. This plastic, uh, you know, foam was added, you know, because I don't want to have any shakes in here. So now this tube is preserved in very, the best possible way to hold it for a long, long time. Of course, if you are opening your tubes, you want to play with them, uh, you probably <laughs> will need a lot of bags to preserve. Of course, if you uh, have, a, you know, unique coins, you can pack it in this way, like, and so basically you can watch them, you can, you know, observe the process, you can pack it individually like this newer orange lion, oh sorry. So basically, um, the idea is very simple. We need to remove air from our container, from our capsule, caps, for our tube. The idea is always the same, leave a little bit open, use the pulse to, you know, suck the air and then squeeze. If you don't have this pulse um, button option feature in your vacuum sealer, you can use automatic mode, but you need to, you know, uh, close the hatch, close the box at the end of the process. So I think it's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, as always, give me a comment and I will try to answer. Soon more reviews of the new coin will come by. So don't forget to use the bell button, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, it was Silver Talks.